Hello everybody, it's Janie. Happy Sunday. Welcome back to my channel. I have been uploading videos a lot this week just because I've been getting so many dolls to show you guys but I can pretty much guarantee it's not going to hold so I'm going to try and upload as many videos as I can just to keep you guys you know interested and always giving you something new to watch but I'm probably not going to be uploading as often just because once things slow down I won't be able to go to thrift stores as often I won't be able to get as much stuff on eBay Nobody's going to be around to give me anything, but anyway, that's beside the point. Today, I have a Unexpected Treasures video to show you guys, and I had a ballet performance yesterday, and as a present, my mom, my wonderful mother, even though it is Mother's Day, gave me this. Hang on, let me get it without the glare. There we go. She gave me this, which is that the Moana, the Hasbro Moana Adventure Collection. It is super amazing, and I love it very much, and this video is going to be an unboxing slash review, and so I'm going to go ahead and get it out of the box so I can show you guys what is inside. Ah, I did it. I got it all out of the box. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and start with the, with the review, and the first one I'm going to do is this Moana. I'm going to get a little bit closer so that you can see her. She is very pretty, and she does have a... Hang on. She does have a nice face. Let's see if I can get a closer look of her face. It is very nice. can't really see it very well. The glare is really bad. Let me see if I can fix that glare. Just look at Moana. Okay, there we go. You can see her face a little bit better, I think. It does look nice. It is very close to the actual resemblance of the, you know, the character from the movie. Her hair quality is not that good, but I don't think I will even be keeping this Moana because I already have the Disney Store articulated one, so I don't think this one is needed, but I am going to be taking her necklace, which is the best part about it. It is very detailed and beautiful. It's very, it's everything is painted and detailed, and her 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 little top is made from one piece of material with a little flap on top right here, and then this is one piece to design that this part looks like grass coming down. It's all one skirt, but it's designed to look like grass coming down, and it velcros in the back. So does the shirt, and she is made of hard plastic. Her legs aren't soft, and she has no articulation, like, other than the basic five points, which is the head. She can move her head. She can't move it up and down very well, no more than like that. And then shoulder, and then hip. So, I don't see why they call I can see why they call it five points, because it's one, two, three, four, five. But I would call it three, because it's head, arms, legs. But, you know, whatever. But... She is very pretty. Her f her face is very nice. It just doesn't seem as good quality as the Disney Store ones. This is by Hasbro. But I am super excited for Maui. He is gigantic. He is super big. And that makes sense because Maui is very big in the actual movie. He can move in the shoulder and not at the head because his hair is all hard. So he can't move his head. He can't move his legs, just his arms. I would like to see them make a Maui that is articulated and that has actual hair that isn't just a head full of plastic. I do see why they would do that, but I would prefer it to be, you know, like an actual head of hair. But anyway, he has this really cool necklace on. Let me see if I can actually... And it is not removable. The necklace is not removable. It looks very close to the one in the actual movie. It is very nice. I like it a lot. It's got all the details on it. It's got all the little teeth and the bones on it. And he is covered in tattoos, of course. And they are all actually accurate to the movie. So it's not just like there is one, you know, that kind of looks like 
the other one. They all look they all look like it. So you can see him lassoing the sun right here. You can see him lassoing the sun. See, so there's the sun, and there's the lasso, and then there's Maui, lassoing the sun. And then you can see him stealing fire from down below, right there, you can see. And then you can see, you can see holding up the sky, he's holding up the sky. And then pulling islands from the sea. And fighting Teka. And his parents throwing him away. That's a really sad part. And him turning into a falcon. And him catching the wind and riding it and stuff. So you can see all of that. And there's little Maui. There's the little Maui that talks to him all the time. And his grass skirt is removable in the back. It has a little flap. I'm not going to go any more than that. But it, it's... It can open. I don't see why it would, but, you know, it can. And it does look like it's made from leaves with ropes tied around it, so it does look good. And he can stand alone. He can stand by himself. And I think Moana can, too. Yep, Moana can stand alone, too, because they both have big, flat feet. So, that is Maui. And then, the next thing I'm going to show you is his fish hook. And I love his fish hook. I cannot get over how amazing it is. You can see all of the little... All the little details that are in his fish hook. There, you can't really see it very well on my camera, but there are details all over it. And the handle is really nice. It looks like rope. It is just very detailed and awesome. And I think it can fit in his hand. I think it can. So I think if I put it in his hand, it'll stay. Let me try. Yep. He can actually hold his fish hook, which is pretty cool because he can actually hold it. I don't know if any other doll can hold it because their hands aren't molded like this but he can which is neat so if he wants to turn into a falcon he can because if he can't hold his fish hook then nothing will happen so the next one is going to be the the little oar that Moana has it's a very long oar it's taller than she is um, see it's very tall but that's okay and this oar isn't, isn't as detailed it doesn't have the little engravings like the Maui loves you or whatever from you know from the movie it doesn't show any of that it does have like a wood grain kind of finish on it but it isn't really the color of wood and it is very flimsy it can bend very easily but that's okay because I already have an oar that came with the other Moana and she can hold her oar I believe let me see if I can get her to hold her oar yeah she can hold her oar too so uh okay sorry she can hold it as you can see, she can hold it, so if she wants to go sailing, she can. She can hold her oar. And then the last ones are the two animals, and the first one I'm going to do is Hey Hey, the chicken. And I am very, very impressed with the detail that they put into him. His, uh, he is very well decorated. For such, a small act for such a small figure, it does look like him. As you can see... He is very cute. He's made from plastic. He he isn't that he isn't actually that flimsy. You can bend him a little if you want to, but I don't see why anybody would deliberately do that. And his tail can turn around. His tail can rotate, which is super cute. And then the last one is Pua, the little pig. And this is my favorite character out of the whole Moana movie, is the little pig. And I love it so much. It's got such a cute little happy face. And it has amazing detail, too. All the splotches are dead on. And the facial expression is perfect. And it has such a cute little ears. I love the little ears. And it cannot move its head or anything. But that's okay. It's pretty much stationary. But that is what I got. And I hope you guys liked my video. And let me know if you want me to do any more unboxing slash reviews in the future. And leave a comment down below for a shout out. And please subscribe if you haven't already for more amazing videos. Bye!